It's Tabletop Time! I'm Dave. I'm Jen. And I'm Rob. And today we are going to be working on the famed cathedral build. So we've got these pieces which uh, Jen's built earlier and today we are going to build the entire rest of the Promised Cathedral. Now we won't be doing the, the sort of um, the fine detail interior and painting. This is building this giant thing which is going to be a massive project. So we thought it'd be great for Jen who has had this head start to kind of tell us what we're in for. So basically all of the cathedral pieces were from mini scenery um, and they've done this awesome huge display that is a cathedral um, and all the pieces are done separately and they build the whole piece together. It's all made of wood um, and it smells incredible. It does. Um, so if you like the smell of burning wood you will love this project um, and all of these pieces are so unique um, and building them was a bit of a breeze for me. I think um, some people might struggle but um, it's not too complicated. So basically all of the pieces um, come with a set of instructions which are available online. Um, I do recommend printing them out and having them next to you as you'll be able to see. Um, makes it very handy and easy to guide you through the process. Um, some of the parts can look similar to others so just sort of uh, look at the pieces and see the descriptive points of them, like how big they are, where the notches are, and that'll really help you as well. I also recommend having some wood glue to glue all of the pieces together, a brush, a little palette to mix all of your paint together and apply the glue on, and also just a piece of like sandpaper or a file just to get those edges really nice and clean if you need them. Cool. All right, Jen, why don't you show us what we have got to build today? Bring forth the pile. The Pile. There it is. She's heavy. So this is pre-printed instructions, which is great because I don't like. There are stickers. One of them. <laughs> we have the apps. The apes. I don't know how to pronounce that. That's the, basically the back apps. center is the way I think of that. <laughs> We've got more corners. A pulpit. Pipe organ. An access. Look at the picture of it in the corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's insanity. Another access. More. Another double straight ruins. More. Another spiral corner. And a tactical response vehicle. <laughs> oh, this is... This stuff maybe this isn't related. Shipping container. Oh, this and Humpty Dumpty. Oh, well, let's put him in there. And oh, I also the have chairs. these really cool little pieces to go with it too. So a couple of chairs and an altar as well, which is pretty sick. So all of this stuff was sent to us by Miniature Scenery and this video is not sponsored by them. We just really appreciate and love the stuff that they make. Um, yeah. they're, a, they're a Victorian company and um, yeah, they do some really cool work. And now we're playing What Fate Does the MDF luck god before you grab a piece and you're not going to the big the chunky one <laughs> i want to tackle the big you one i'm taking the, the big one. one i'm taking the, the altar the... Like... grab one what are you building rob we're going to build imperial it ruins straight what are you building jen oh you have ruins pulpit and a pulpit a pulpit Beautiful. all right let's get stuck in everyone so for the pieces i worked on i worked on the pulpit and the pipe organ these were smaller pieces um very fiddly and hard to work with but um, I think they came out really well. The pipe organ in particular had smaller pieces to use and put on it, which took a long time and a bit of finesse. But I think that overall they're, they're not too hard to work with and I think that they're very effective. on some relatively easy pieces being um, a ruined corner, um, a straight wall and then a spiral staircase which was probably one of the more fiddly ones. It's really actually really easy with the instructions, they make it quite clear for the most part. Um, some of them have spots where it actually shows you specifically where to glue and again just following the steps of each one they were really easy to put together although you might want to either be patient or invest in a heat gun to try and make your glue set a little bit quicker on some of the pieces. But other than that I'm really happy with the spiral staircase in particular. It was probably one of the more satisfying pieces to go together. on the big centerpiece where the organ or it seems the pulpit would sort of find their final home. I found it also relatively easy to put together for the most part, but it was a fairly big project, lots of pieces. I glued one piece on upside down 
and <laughs> was lucky that the glue hadn't dried. One of the perks of PVA is that it doesn't dry too quickly. So I managed to flip it back around and clean it up pretty easily. But um, where it all started to unravel for me, I guess on my journey was purely putting together those windows. If you like doing the same thing over and over again, you'll be completely fine. But for me sitting together and doing the same thing, it's like every one of the same thing I had to do, I was getting more and more fidgety and just wanting to like run around in circles. But um, we got there, we got there. <laughs> so it looks really good at the end of the day and putting on those window sills on either side of the windows, which are individual pieces, uh, was worth it in the end. And now I just sit back and wait for the pillars to dry so I can put all these big pillars on and make it the final framing for the do you know the thing that gets me now is it's three days of work putting together what will be four minutes of content so far. <laughs> it's like three days and then three people on day three. But I think the most satisfying part of this video is gonna be showing it all sort of in place and, and how they're gonna to piece together. So we've got a few more pieces to do, but we'll come back and sort of show what we've got so far and then crank out the last ones. The other thing is that this is the groundwork for what I hope will be multiple videos because I would love to do it like this organ and the pulpit could be an individual video on painting them up, to, doing something cool with them. And here we are at the finale with all of our pieces made. Wow, this looks so good. It's I'm very impressed. Crazy. Incredibly cool. And this is literally step one in the journey to turning this into something massive, amazing and cool. Not that it isn't already, but I am just picturing the insides of this, making it a kill team board. Rob, you had a suggestion for the middle? What were you yeah, doing? yeah, I was thinking if we could build some type of more verticality in the center and run either scaffolding or some type of archway or walkway across here, I think it'd yeah, be really cool totally. um, and open that up a little bit. It's such a natural bounding box for games of like Necromunda or Kill mm -hmm. Team where you've got basically anything inside the walls is fair game and you've got these upper layers and it just comes together so well. I can see each one as like almost a little diorama that we can build and put together. It's not big gratuitous, but I love the idea of building up a landmass that it's like on top of, like a cliff face. Uh, yeah, I, I did a, a fly through on my phone and it just, it makes me want to visualize it more in the future about what we could do with it. There's something that is actually really simple to put together. It's just shocking how detailed it looks mm -hmm. when everything's done. Um, the little intricacies for like the pipe organ, the pulpit, um, even like the spiral staircases and, and these like box staircases, it's just, it's crazy to be honest. What ideas do you have for weathering? Okay, weathering, I have big ideas. Mallet. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work really well, doesn't it, Rob? It's just instant from the <laughs> do better. No, I'm thinking that I really want to see this whole thing um, really weathered in like you picture a bombed out church in World War II with that like that big sort of hills of dirt and debris mm -hmm. pushing up against every corner of it yeah. filled with large chunks of rubble and then kind of in the center it's almost flattened out a little bit and you've got the remains of all the pews mm -hmm. like the lines of the pews maybe we have the scaffolding around that is going to be where they're starting to repair it or maybe they were painting frescoes or something and then suddenly it got bombed out and that way we can use this terrain in 40k necromunda fantasy games mm. it's kind of timeless and that's something i think is awesome about it because it works in gothic 40k it works in medieval fantasy and yeah. it will just be this super versatile piece of terrain what um, are you looking forward to most jen i think just seeing the final product because like We've all worked really hard on this, and I think that it's at that stage where it looks really cool, but just the final pieces is just, it's gonna look amazing, I'm really excited. I've got a huge video idea for it, for one of the pieces. This entire central piece, I would love to see once it's painted, if we could do full stained, stained glass oh. windows. Oh. We gotta do this. We gotta, we gotta do we'll it. Do, we'll do it. Hey, yeah. you know, are we gonna end this video at some point? Probably. How are we going to end this video in the traditional style? Well, I mean, we could just continue talking about how yeah, we're going to end Yeah, just discuss about how the video's going to end. Mm, yeah. yeah. And it seems we, to go we could cut to bloopers, but we didn't film any bloopers no, of the process. We were perfect in this Ready, one. guys? No bloopers, go. Uh, just hold this blooper. Oh, no, the yeah, table yeah, rock. Jen. Rich. Oh, oh what is... What, uh, oh, what oh, is... It's an earthquake. Oh, Jen. What if it down, You Jen? broke it. Oh uh, no, the two ton oh, oh, do not earthquake. touch ah. this. Do you know how fragile that is? You know what? I'll play us out. We got a number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we bout to get down. get down. Ten kills on the board right now. Just wiped out Tomato Town.